Ebola is still a deadly disease. The latest outbreak in the eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo started in early August. The fatality rate is 70 percent. But this outbreak is far different from the one that devastated West Africa a few years ago. Health workers now have more and better tools. Scientists have developed experimental treatments for those who have Ebola. We have five therapeutics that are available, three of which are being used actively. The DRC and the National Institutes of Health have developed one of those experimental treatments. A person was infected in the 1995 Kikwik outbreak in the DRC. We, the person recovered from Ebola and we brought the person here to the United States at the NIH. We drew their blood, we cloned their B cells, and we made the antibody. It's called monoclonal antibody 114, or MAB 114. Scientists at a therapeutics company and a nearby biomedical institute in Switzerland did a lot of the work that led to this new experimental treatment. The National Institutes of Health found that MAB114 is safe. NIH conducted a trial at its hospital where doctors injected it into volunteers. It's now being given to Ebola patients in the DRC. So far it's been given to at least 13 people and 11 of them have been discharged from the hospital, which is a pretty good odds. More people need to receive this treatment and the two others before we know which treatments, if any, actually work. Three of them are ready to go, so we're proposing a trial comparing one treatment with another treatment with another treatment. Another tool doctors now have in this outbreak is a vaccine that protects people from getting Ebola. The vaccine wasn't available during the height of the outbreak in West Africa. Tests show it's highly effective in preventing the spread of the virus. Also new are treatment units with transparent plastic walls. People can see and talk to their loved ones without getting exposed to the virus. But there are other factors in this outbreak that frustrate the efforts to control it. The outbreak is in a conflict zone, so health workers can't get to everyone at risk. People in the city of Butembo, with a population of over a million, have come down with Ebola. It's much harder to contain the disease in a populated city than in a rural area. The outbreak is near the borders of Uganda and Rwanda, where people travel back and forth to sell and trade goods. So there's a possibility it could spread to these countries as well. Health officials' other concern is that despite medical advances, the number of cases keep rising. Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.